Before I get into reinfection, a big shout out for Victorians and the lockdown. The numbers are falling and it's fantastic news. It's been hard won and all Australians are thinking of you. Now, the worrying case of the man who caught the virus a second time. A 33-year-old man living in Hong Kong is the first person confirmed to have been reinfected with the coronavirus. A representative of the World Health Organization. This patient, who is a 33-year-old uh, man with uh, very good past health, um, had the first infection in late March. And then four and a half months later, he was returning from Spain. And at the Hong Kong airport, um, he was screened for uh, he was tested for COVID-19. At that time, he was tested positive. Dr. Kelvin Tony's team from the University of Hong Kong analysed the genes from the man's two positive COVID-19 swabs and found they were different versions of the coronavirus, confirming it was a second infection. There are two possible reasons for reinfection. One is that the person's immunity has waned. The other is that the virus has mutated so much that the immune system doesn't recognise it. Both have implications for the future of this pandemic and its control. We know that for many studies, patients have the immunity actually is not as good one to two months or a few months after the first infection, especially for the decreasing antibody levels. So that's one possibility. Second is, of course, the virus mutating. And indeed, in our, our patient, the second virus, there are some mutations that are known to be important for the immunity. But there could be good news. One of the key features of this Hong Kong man's story is that he had symptoms first time around, but not the second. That might mean that whatever immunity he had left saved him from COVID-19 disease, which is actually what most vaccines are being designed to do. I'm also glad to see that this patient had very mild or asymptomatic infection in the second episode. And uh, that's reassuring in some sense, but remember, this is only one patient. And actually, uh, yesterday night, uh, there was a paper, a preprint from, I think, Nevada, having a pa patient with reinfection, and the second episode was actually more severe the than the first one. He had to be hospitalized, this time with a different strain of the virus. Although reinfection seems to be rare, it still might make you think, what's the point in a vaccine if the immunity were to last only a few weeks? Dr. Kelvin To is more upbeat. I, I'm not pessimistic at all. Um, actually, reinfection is expected. I'm just the one who, who announced it first. <laughs> Our case of reinfection should not make people think vaccines do not work. It's a completely different story. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.